Okay, Google, start the video. What is up, YouTube? Today is a very exciting day. I just received the Google Home. So for the past couple of years, I've been using these JBL speakers. They're Bluetooth speakers, about 150 bucks. Um, they've actually served me really well. Um, the one thing I don't like about them is Bluetooth. Uh, and so my problem with Bluetooth is that it's fairly unreliable. Um, when I wake up in the morning, I'm in a rush. I have to make sure it connects, go into my settings here on my iPhone, uh, select JBL charge, and wait for it to connect. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I want to avoid that whole step. I want to just be able to say, okay, Google, play me Childish Gambino, and it just works. Um, that's something that I think this is going to provide. Um, this is the JBL Charge 2. This is a little bit better. Um, it can pair with multiple devices at one at one time, and they can all, you know, take control whenever they want. Um, but still, I, I still have some issues with it. And yeah, mainly mainly just Bluetooth is uh, not as reliable as I want it to be. So. Um, one of the things that I do love about this, and I don't think you're going to get with Google, I mean, you can't get with Google, is that it has a battery. And this is something that outputs uh, USB, you can take it camping, you can take it on the go, and it works really well. So, still keep these around for, for uh, having music on the go. Let's go ahead and get straight to it. So, it came in pretty nice packaging. Oh. A lot smaller than I was expecting. That's a nice, uh, very nice fabric bottom to it. I was uh, kind of worried it was going to be all mono monochrome and they're, you know, all white. So I didn't really like that. I was thinking about getting one of the other colors, but I actually really like this. There's two microphone holes on top. I think that there's going to be some lights that appear right here. There's a there's a mute button for the microphone and a nice rubber base. About the size of the JBLs, a little bit wider. I usually keep these. Uh, I usually keep these things in my bathroom actually. So I like to listen to music in the morning when I shower. Um, so and that's probably where this one's going to live. I'm probably going to buy a few more. Uh, I've actually heard that they link up and sync up really well. So you can have uh, multi-room audio. That's actually one, something that uh, Amazon Echo doesn't provide. So I'm really excited about that. It seems like there'd be more in here. So that's all that was in there. This is actually a really nice, good quality cable, but just a standard power pin, not USB. Um, would have loved to see this be like USB-C or something, but I'm not going to read the Getting Started Guide. Let's just go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Alright, let me go ahead and do that. So, one thing to note is that I actually am using an iPhone. I've been a long time uh, Android supporter. But, you know, for the last year or so, um, I've been using this iPhone and wanted to try something different uh, just to see the other ecosystem and see how it works. Um, and the funny thing is, the App Store is down. So this is wonderful. Um, I don't think you'd have this problem with Google, but you never know. Ah, finally works. All right, so I've got the app downloaded. Let's go ahead and power it up. So at this point, setup seems pretty easy. It's actually using Bluetooth to find nearby devices, even though I didn't actually have to pair with it. Play the test sound. So now it's asking me which room it's in, so I can say things like play music in the kitchen. Then I give it my Wi Fi username and password. You wouldn't have to do this on Android since it can use the saved credentials, but on iOS you don't get that privilege. Really want to just use the thing. Maybe you could do an update later. So now I just have to sign in with my Google account, and then one more update. Here I'm telling it whether I want personalized results and whether I want it to allow my location. Now it's asking me what my home address is, and I think it uses this information for things like calling Uber rides. So this is something that's pretty cool and something that you don't get with the other assistants on the market. It actually allows you to set your default music provider and use that for searches. The choices it's giving me here are Google Play Music, YouTube Music, Spotify, and Pandora. I'm a huge fan of Spotify, so I'm gonna give that a try. Update is complete. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. All right. Okay, Google, how far away is the moon? The moon is 238,900 miles from Earth. Okay, Google, tell me about my day. Good afternoon, Dan. It is 5.50 p.m. 
The weather in San Francisco currently is 64 degrees and mostly cloudy with a high of 64 degrees. Have a wonderful day. Now, let's try music. Okay, Google. Play Childish Can't Be Known. Sure, here's Donald Glover on Spotify. Waiting. Okay, Google. Play Little Dicky. All right, playing Little Dicky on Spotify. There we go. Okay, Google. Mute the volume. Okay, Google, unmute. So there's a nice button on the back here that turns the microphone on and off. So if you're ever worried about it listening in for some reason, you can turn the microphone on. Turn the microphone off. Now, here's a question. Who's easier to pick up, right? The problem that I've had with Siri is I can say, hey Siri, and it doesn't get me 95% of the time. So with music playing, okay Google, what's the weather? In San Francisco, it's 64 and mostly cloudy. Perfect. Now, hey Siri, what's the weather? Nothing. It's fair. Maybe there is music playing. Hey Siri, what's the weather? I couldn't find Hey Siri, what's the weather on your music? Play Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what's the weather? Okay, the temperature today will range between 57 degrees and 66 degrees. Helpful. Okay, Google. Wake me up at 8 a.m. tomorrow. There, your alarm set for tomorrow at 8 a.m. Perfect. Hey Siri, wake me up at 8 a.m. tomorrow. I don't understand. At 8 a.m. tomorrow. Of course you don't. So I think Siri's got a long way to go to catch up with Google. I haven't tried the Echo personally. Um, okay Google, tell me a joke. How did the vacuum cleaner die? It bit the dust. <laughs> okay Google, turn up the temperature. According to English language and usage, Stack Exchange, turn down the thermostat or crank up the AC to make it colder. I would take the statement to me, turn down the power to the air conditioner and would probably opt for the fin settings first off before clarifying what temperature setting the speaker wanted if it was one of those two dial things in a hotel. <laughs> to read more, look for the link in your Google Home app. <laughs> okay. Okay, Google. What do you think of Siri? You know Siri? What a small world. Hope she's doing well. See, it's got some personality now. Hey Siri, what do you think of Google? It's your opinion that counts, Daniel. Sorry. Okay, Google, what phone should I buy next? Sorry, I can't help with that yet. Hmm. Okay, Google, can you take out the trash? Sorry, I can't help with that yet. Hmm. Not yet. Okay, Google, can you turn on my TV? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet. Okay, Google. Can you destroy the human race? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Mm. Not yet. <laughs>all right so it's been 10 days with my google home and as expected i'm using it for music a lot um, i'm actually even using it with youtube red music i actually like it a lot because i'm finding mixes and things that i wouldn't normally find on spotify and i find that their uh, search algorithm works really well um, even better than spotify's but the other thing i didn't expect is how much i'd want to use it to automate everything in my home so when you open up the home automation section of the google home app your options look pretty bare there's only nest philips hue and samsung smart things I'm actually gonna focus on the Samsung SmartThings hub because that allows you to hook up a bunch of different devices to one central hub. So I've ordered a bunch of smart switches and thermostats and I'm gonna cover that in a future video. But for now, just know that I'm really enjoying the home automation aspect of it. So this is a quick look at the Google Home. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, click the subscribe button below. Hey Google, remind me to call mom tomorrow. Sorry, create reminder is not yet supported.